According to the Heart and Stroke Foundation, heart disease and stroke take one in three Canadians before their time and is the number one killer of women. In today's To Your Health, Katherine Hansen has more on how to spot for the warning signs of a heart attack. And now, To Your Health, brought to you by Evergreen Pharmacy and Heart Drugs. A board game with her eight-year-old son Declan is something Deanna Schwing doesn't take for granted anymore. Not after a heart attack at the age of 29 that changed her life. I was driving my car with my, with my son and um, had a massive heart attack and went into cardiac arrest. She didn't know it, but Schwing suffered from Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, a disorder within the conduction system of her heart. The condition, along with extra stress in her life, led her to have a heart attack. On the way to the hospital that day in March of 2011, paramedics had to defibrillate her heart several times. Yes, they lost me three times and brought me back. Um, and then that's where they had, it was just in the ambulance ride on the, on the way to the hospital. So that's why they had to um, put me into a drug-induced coma for a couple of days to get my body to relax. As this month marks Heart Health Month, the local branch of the Heart and Stroke Foundation is working to raise awareness. Over 16,000 Canadians die each year as the result of a heart attack. And the foundation is offering some tips on how to reduce those numbers. I guess there's simple things like the 0530 rule. Zero smoking, uh, five fruits and vegetables a day, and 30 minutes of exercise. We can all do it. All we need is a pair of runners. One way to tell if you are in a possible danger zone is to check waist measurement. Over 35 inches for women and 40 for men is considered to be a higher risk factor. And there are signs to look out for if you think you may be possibly suffering from a heart attack. Chest pain or discomfort, uh, pain in your arm, neck, or jaw. Sweating, nausea, or difficulty breathing. So don't just put something off to the flu. You know, if things are sudden and unexpected, then get them looked into. After an ablation surgery, Deanna is now healthy and is monitored by doctors with checkups every six months. She feels she's been given a second chance at life and continues to work to stay healthy every day. I try not to stress as much as what I did prior to. <laughs> trying to eat healthier some days it doesn't really happen, but I have been trying and just, I guess, value every day you have because you never know. To your health, Katherine Hansen, CKPG News.